in this episode of the Bourbon Guild Review Show, Dylan says something profound. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a bold statement. Then Dylan says something profound. I think you guys are uh, biased and I think <laughs> foolish. And Jules says something. You know what this calls for? A recount. All this and more when the Bourbon Guild Review Jim Beam Distiller's Cut. Man, you idiots didn't even try this. I'm the only person who actually I've tried, tried it. Welcome to the Bourbon Guild Review Show. I'm Dutch. I'm Jules. Dylan. I'm Ben Richards, the butcher of Bakersfield. Wow. Oh, subdued sexy, today, Ben. Sexy voice. Wow. All right. Are you subdued because of what we're reviewing? <laughs> I'm happy. Uh, in this That's episode. Bad boy. In this episode. Why don't you tell everybody what we're reviewing? <laughs> we are reviewing Jim Beam Distiller's Cut. That's right. Mm, that's right. Well done, well it would have been funny if he said something else. <laughs> um, that's right. So this is Jim Beam Distiller's Cut. Now, we did mention this in our Jim Beam Repeal Batch video. We'll put a link up top and in the description to that video. Mainly because it's basically the same thing except 100 proof. I mean, there's there's barrel selection, obviously, but, but as far as the stats, it's a non-chilled filtered and um, it's at a higher proof. So it does come in this wonderful cardboard box. Um, Design-wise, I actually like it. I mean, the color scheme, you know, the black and the red go, go really well together. It does set it apart from the white label Jim Beam, obviously. Um, inside, we'll pull the bottle out here. Kind of a nice looking bottle. Um, definitely shows off the color mm -hmm. of the bourbon inside. It's very clear. It just has this nice kind of black ribbon along the bottom. Um, I think it's a good looking bottle. Yeah. Honestly. Um, so the stats, based on what the bottle says here, it is unfiltered Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey aged five to six years. So we have an age range, <laughs> not, an, not a specific age statement, but that's definitely nice to see that, of course. Uh, 100 proof, meaning that it is 50% alcohol. It does say it's a limited, limited release, but this is still coming out, right? I mean, they still are putting it out. I've, I've seen it a lot. It is out there, at least. Um, MSRP? $23. $23. Oh. So not super expensive like most Jim Beam products. Um, I'm actually really curious about this. I know mm -hmm. that you guys on the end there have tried it. I've never tried it. Have you tried it? I have not tried it. So two of us are coming into this totally naive. Yeah, I told you guys about it. And then I guess... that We have video evidence to come. We do have video evidence in that Jim Beam repeal batch episode. So Dylan, what do you got? Wait, before... I. I I just want to relay like what I've heard about this before Dylan gets into the stats. This bourbon is personally, this is from Fred No's personal bourbon collection. It is the distiller's cut of his bourbon. It is his personal bourbon that he is sharing with us out of his own pocket. That is what I've heard. So it actually says on the side of the box, Ben, it says personally selected by master distiller Fred No. Yeah. So that is out of his personal bourbon collection. For us, personally, it is the, he is the distiller. This is his cut. Well, Plus. technically, everything is his at, at Jim Beam, right? Yeah, he's like the family. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this. It's basically, fanboy alert. <laughs> all right, all right, Dylan, give us our background on this. I'm going to crack it open so we can actually drink it and determine what, whether or not all right. needs to so, be So, we just cut that. <laughs> all right. Uh, no, Poor it's all right. Ben. No, that was good. That was good. Uh, Beam Centauri, uh, Jim Beam, 77 corn, 13 rye, 10 malted barley. Age five years, maybe a little older than that. Says five to six on yeah. the bottle. Um, retail price, 23. We paid... Eighteen? Yeah. Dollars. Um, I actually... Under. Yeah, I Seven, maybe seventeen. Oh, by the way, guys, screw top plastic. Right. My uh, nothing wrong with that. I bought I bought my <laughs> bottle on sale for seventeen bucks. So, okay. um, and uh, I wrote on here, fun facts, unfiltered. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> <awesome>. oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and there it is. Oh, you got me laughing, man. You got me laughing. Come on. <laughs> Clearly, it was a fun fact because there he was merciful. Only one. <laughs> So, man, ben, I have a question then. I mean, How this dare is, you spill a drop of this? If this is his personal He's selection, more than a drop. Why didn't he put a cork in it? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Wow. You wow. put a cork in it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Before we make more of a mess and make more fools of, our, uh, fools of ourselves, uh, why don't you give the uh, viewers at home our scoring system? All right, if you guys are new to the Bourbon Guild, welcome. <laughs> and uh, we do have a 10 point grading system. We give two points for uh, its aroma, <laughs> as Ben loses it, or its nose, uh, three points for its complexity of uh, flavors, two points for how drinkable it is, three points for its uniqueness. And a bonus point for value. So for us, we try to stick with uh, value being its price point and availability. All right, guys. Good tasting. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> ben, you have your score? I do, but you're starting. All right, guys. Let's get our initial scores. Uh, 6.5. 5 out of 10. You guys are absolutely crazy. I give it an eight. Wow. Ben. Eight. Wow. I had to make wow. sure you weren't effing with me. Let's see your score. Wow. Wow. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Wow. Thank okay. you. Well, uh, I, well, I mentioned this while we were tasting, but I actually said there are two categories that I was actually close to coming up on. I so that could put me up at a 7.5 by the end of this if you guys... Okay, well, I literally, I literally thought Dylan was wow. effing with me. Seriously. I, I did too, actually. <laughs> okay. Me too. No, no, no. Uh, well, let's kick this off with aroma. I thought that the aroma was very strong. There's a great mm. brown sugar component coming punching through. I gave it a 1.5. Mm. I wasn't getting anything. Even with a disaster pour I got earlier. <laughs> so I wow. thought that would actually push it forward. <laughs> maybe that's why I got everything. Like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> actually, it worked for you. But I gave it a 0.5. I wasn't getting it. Wow. Yeah. So this is the weakest. Um, I gave it a one. Um, I think really? I, I, I don't get like the rich um, stewed fruit that I want in bourbon. I, it, it's, it's definitely thinner. And so that kind of it, it dissipates too quickly. Um, but I do get the oak. It's not too strong. It's, it's just right. Um, I think you get the brown sugar, you get the molasses, you get the caramel. That's 7.5 right there, the way yeah, you're describing it. the way you're describing it, it sounds like But a the two. thing is, it, there, it's just a little bit subdued. Yeah. Um, I wish it was a little bit more forward. Yeah. This is what this is the weakest, I would say, um, a category for this It did not smell one. subdued to me, actually, and that's saying a lot. I gave it a 1.5, but I, like, I'm, I'm on the same boat as you. I'm in the same boat as you as far as what you've, you're saying. I just, I, I was pleased by it. But yeah, like my 0.5 docking from Perfect is, it's weak. It's th it's the weakest part of this for right. me. But Ben, I think that's perfect because if this was just cranked up a little bit, it'd be a two. That's why the 0.5 for me. I honestly mm -hmm. think it's, I think it's fine as it is. Like, I th I mean, yeah, it's it, it's not as forward as it could be, but the other components of this bourbon, how, like the proof, the, the drinkability, yeah. I think it's good. I, I'll accept this aroma for what it is. Like, I, it's not it's so, not as prominent and layered as others, but you know what? It's good. And 1.5 is even, it's better than good. So, there you go. All right. Let's move on to complexity. Um, I, ended up, I ended up at a one. You guys are crazy. You guys are one. one. You guys are absolutely crazy. What'd you give it? I give it a two. Ben, what'd you give it? I gave it a 1.5, but I could probably come up. Okay, well, I, could, I also could maybe come up. So hmm. I'll, I'll kick it off here. In fact, I, I am going to come up because I've been drinking <laughs> more of it. Without any convincing. I'm going to need some convincing. I, I got pepper and, and like a sweetness. Mm. I, I couldn't really f taste the oak as much as I could smell the oak. And it felt, it tasted a little flat to me. Yeah. But I feel like there's more flavors there. That maybe I'm just not able to pick out as well as the super tasters on the panel. So I'm, I'm willing to listen and, and give it another taste. But right now I'm at a, a really strong one. I was leaning towards a 1.5, but I'm not quite there. So, Jules, your analysis. Your sure. Uh, <laughs> one out of three. Um, I feel I represent the layman here, obviously. I don't the have... layman. Uh, <laughs> a lot <laughs> of Sure. Just your average spirit drinker. Wow. But I wasn't getting much out of this at all. I did get... Uh, hints of sweet, and that was it. I was yeah. missing the oak. Did I you was get the missing. Um, I got some spice, but mostly on the finish, and it didn't. You know, it just wasn't strong enough either. Everything felt very mellow um, for me. You know, so with this drink yeah. too. So, all right, I'm gonna three. I'm gonna make a bold statement. I think this is the perfect bottle to showcase what Jim Beam is all about. I think this is why Jim Beam became so popular. I think this is why Jim Beam has been successful with Beam Centauri. Um, <laughs> but wait, wait, what about Booker's? 
I, I don't know. I, ju- I just feel like this is what it was intended to be. Hmm. I think it's not too crazy. Okay. I mean, we've had okay. the super expensive for 100 an, for, 200, an everyday, for an everyday yeah, bourbon. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Like, you know, the $300 bottle, Jim Beam, all that nonsense. Yeah, but your score, your total score reflects this is crazy. No, like, this is amazing. Eight, no, for your total yeah. score. No, it Eight is. Out of ten. It's great. Okay. I, I personally think that if you, if you don't want to break the bank, if you don't want to yeah. break the bank, but you want to know what Jim Beam well, is let's, all about. Let's save that for value. Yeah, let's stay on target. No, yeah, this is what it is. So anyway, I mean, anyway, so, so why do I, why do I, why do I say that? Because stay on target. it's a perfect balance of fruit, stewed fruit, the caramel, the oak. It's the, it's mm. the Jim Beam oak mm. that kind of really sets it apart from the other story. So I think you guys are, I think you guys are biased. And Completely. I think foolish about your scores. And I think this well, really represents Jim Beam really well. I'll explain and it when we, get to good the, price. when we get to the next category. I'll explain it. And, I, and I love this. And, and the, you know, the, the other thing I want to say, you can cut all this, but the, <laughs> uh, the flavor profile really um, kind of, I love this because when I go to Las Vegas, it's Jim Beam for me, right? And I yeah, love Jim I'm, Beam. I love Jim, Jim Beam. Jim Beam and video poker is a classic combo. It, Jim Beam. And so this is, is just that perfect flavor that I, I long for. Yeah. So... Ben, do you have anything to say about this? I have nothing to add. That's wow. No, that was I perfect. Don't. Yeah. All right. Drinkability. Uh, I'll Let's go there. Drinkability. So, yeah. can I kick this off? Because yes, I gave it a two. Two. Finally, and, you're and right. If I could give incredible, if I could give a three to a bourbon for drinkability, incredible. I yes. completely Let's yes. yes. But yes. you know what? I, that's what I said about the white label. <laughs> I, I just think Jim Beam bourbons are so drinkable. Yeah. It, yeah. it is amazing. Hundred percent. Part of that is because. The flavors are not punching me in the face. Mm-hmm. They're mm. they're really mellow. They're pleasant, but they're not like discernible. Let, let me just. Add and that's one, what makes it so drinkable. I, let me just add one thing. This is not charcoal filtered. I that's and not charcoal. That's mellow. why I would give it a and three. Yet, that's why I would give it a three if I could. Beautiful, beautiful S- drinkability. Smooth. It's perfect. Smoothness. It is perfect on drinkability. Yeah, flavorful. Easy okay, so you gave it a 1.5. 1.5. That's why? good. No, not why? 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 Above middle. Why? Uh, mostly because it's like, yeah, it's completely drinkable, but do I want to keep on drinking? I don't know. Okay, but hang on. Let's let's set the stage here. You're yeah. you're in Vegas. You're sitting at a video poker machine. Well, yeah. I mean, if they're, I'm going to get a pour, you know, for free. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Next time we go, I'm going to be carrying this around. Carrying around the and, 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 and getting, like, you know, you know yelled at by but the it's like, I don't know if it's, like, completely right. perfect. You know, that's, it's still above average. It's above middle of the road. But would you, would you go for another glass of this when you're done with it? Yeah, but only because of, you know, again, it is, it's so light and <laughs> muted. Funny. It's not interesting. Okay. It's not, you know, it's okay. like... It's so not offending. So words, I can are... have this paired with like an awesome cigar. I'll be good to go. Okay, so so it's for and you. It's more of the flavor profile that keeps you. Where it's lacking, not necessarily. Where it's lacking just that point like five, like your from the drinkability. Okay. Right, 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 right. And then we talk about that as it's pleasant. Fair, right? Fair, Fair enough. Fair enough. You guys have anything yeah. else to add on drinkability? We're good. No, we're good. All right, we're trucking here. Said everything. Next category: uniqueness. Uh, let's start down there with you, Ben. Two. Two. One out of. Three. <laughs> <laughs> um, I forgot if we changed. Come it. on. All right, why don't you guys start? Why don't you guys start? Yeah, can I start? Go, no, go ahead. Please. It. Okay. Talk me up because this is another one that I was thinking about coming. Eighteen dollar purchase price. One hundred proof. Completely drinkable. Fantastic flavors. Available in most, and I say most because you really kind of do have to find it at certain big yeah. box liquor stores. That's it's true. not. It's not everywhere, but it's in most places. So, and we'll get into value. But that's a, like name another bourbon off the top of your head, and you know what? Don't name another bourbon off the top of your head. The I'm writing them down. I'm listing them out right because now because those are damn good qualities of a bourbon to have at this price point. And Fred, no personal distiller's cut of his bourbon. Okay, mic drop. So. <laughs> Let me just add uniqueness. Fanboy alert. Yeah. <laughs> so the reason I gave it a two is because, uh, number one, it I get to f- really taste the liquor out of J- Jim Beam barrel. Um, you know, they're able to dilute it in a way that's um, balanced. What does that even it, mean? It's I not know. filtered, right? It's okay. not, not it's non-chill filtered. Okay. It's, you know, straight from the barrel, not... You know, in the strict sense, but you know, there it's it's a high enough proof. I think it it showcases the Jim Beam product very well, and so I that's why I gave it a two. Okay, 
I give it a one out of three, um, and that full point five was for the bottle and its presentation. You rated Trader Joe's for higher. No, I think I'm about, uh, about actually maybe even on. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> that's sad. But right. uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, just it's not the flavors were not unique at all. I mean, yeah, it is unique to like Jim Beam. This is exactly what I expect out of a Jim Beam bottle. But then that's pretty much it, and it's probably like its best representation of what they have. But for that, it's just like, eh. I mean, you tried, you oh. tried the super ultra expensive ones, right? right? What, uh, how many years? Like, you know, decades old yeah. Jim Beam. Guys. And uh, I mean, this is like a like a great everyday product. Yeah, it is a good everyday drinker, absolutely. But I attribute that more for drinkability. That's why that is the highest score or category I, I gave it. You know, it's that's kind of where that. I ended up. So, right. like for me, that was really where I kept hitting it. Is like this is supremely drinkable. Yeah. It's a little bit more interesting than the average daily drinker, but not much more. Like, so I'm listening out like Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond, Old Fitz, Evan Williams Bottle and Bond, uh, uh, Jim Beam White Label, uh, Four Roses Yellow Label, Larceny. There's a lot of these cheaper bourbons that I think are super drinkable, super enjoyable, and this is one of them. Now, the one category where you guys might convince me is this is non-chill filtered. Mm -hmm. This does have a little bit better aroma. Maybe it's a tiny bit more complex than those, but I'm not, I just I don't know that I'm convinced. <laughs> Crickets. They can't counter the that argument. They I can't shocked. counter that argument. The shock. That's counter how it is. Argument. More like you can't counter Comment it. Comment below and co <laughs> counter that argument. Well, no, because no, 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 it's no, no, like no, 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 In all seriousness, though, because of the non shell filtered 100 proof, I am considering going to 1.5, but convince me. It's like trying to teach a house cat to write Shakespeare. I, I, I don't like, know. I don't. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of the repeal because I thought it was, it was uh, pardon my language, half-assed. Um, either you do white, white label, or I think you go for this. And, you know, right. you know, you, you know, know spending the hundreds of dollars on that, all this stuff, I mean, that's for, that's for rich folks. But this is, this, this is, is richer than white label. You're yeah, right. This yeah. is, this is a great product here. Yeah, you make a good point. I actually love, I love the repeal batch. I thought it's really good. I thought it was excellent. I like this more. And I had this after I tried the repeal batch. But yeah, this this is Jim Beam White Label dialed up to where I'm like, I, I'm i loving it. And I like Jim Beam White okay. Label. That's We have video evidence I'm, of that. I'm going to go to a 1.5. Wow. I'm going to go to a 1.5. Mainly because, mainly because I'm thinking about it with respect to other seven-point bourbons I've graded. Mm -hmm. and, and factoring in the subsidy that we give for value, this really is more, more it is. interesting. It Can is. I start on value? Let's go to value. Let's get our scores first. That's going to be a no-brainer. No, no we're, we're all going to agree, right? One. Yeah. Unanimity. Uh, and I, yeah. A one. Yeah. No brainer. Come on, guys. Can I start? Sure. Well, hang on. Can I, can I throw one thing out first? Of course. Everything on this says it's a limited release. Still like, it says one. it on the bottle, says on the box. Still it is still one. out there. But it's Jim Beam. Limited release, that means something different. Like that. <laughs> <That's a> good, <laughs> okay, go ahead, Ben. So, astute viewer, as you've seen our video library, you've seen the videos we put out. We're drinking, you know, Pappy, Weller... Uh, what's some other really expensive stuff we've drank? Uh, the Orbit. antique collection, mm -hmm. Woodford Reserve Batch Proof, William Heavenhill. Well, yeah, what? William Bougie Heavenhill. First yeah. sixteen. So <laughs> the birthday bourbons. There you go. There's another one. Birthday bourbons. So drink it. Yeah, those are great. Like, I mean, yeah, we can nitpick scores here and there, and and we can give subjective opinions on what we think of them, but. The most valuable thing I've taken away from drinking those expensive bourbons is it makes me have a super appreciation for this price point of bourbon. The stuff you get out of these when you really sit and be like, you know, hey man, I'm going to sit and sniff this. I'm not going to just glug, 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 glug. You know, Jim Beam is $15, $12 a bottle, white label. Yeah. And yeah, you could throw it with Coke and do whatever. But if you sit and sip it, this, 18 bucks, Evan Williams bottle and bond, 15, 18, you know, depending on where you live in the country. You take some time with some of these cheaper bourbons and man, you get, you see like where the heritage, the craft, the time, the age, the flavors, where they really, and, and they're similar. There's stuff in $100 bourbons that's similar in $20, $15 bourbons. And it really makes me appreciate this level. And I gave it a one because 18 bucks and man, this is good stuff. This I, is what bourbon's all about. Yeah, I, I just wanted a quick comment. I don't have a you know long drawn out thing like that. But like Ben Richards, the cultural warrior. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the reason it's value is because I go out and I I I, I buy I buy these for seventeen dollars and I stocked nice. up. That's that's to me value because I want this flavor profile for that price point yeah. and yeah. it's 
It's Fantastic, phenomenal. yeah. No question. Um, yeah. I don't have anything to add to that. Same here. Well said. Well, well said, guys. Let's get our final tally, Ben Richards. 8.5. Nobody should be surprised by that. Wow. No. 8.5? <laughs> Done. You wow. should be surprised by this. Eight. I am surprised. I am, I am surprised. surprised by yeah. that. Yeah, and that's why I'm bringing Twist. balance back to everything. Five. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. Medio- I, mediocrity. Hey in guys, the I ended up at a seven, which is a very, very good Whoa, score. Wow, you guys! Oh my god, you guys Four. are putting this in the All Star. It is. Our category. officials <laughs> are official. Wow. The official Bourbon Guild score for Jim Beam Distillers Cut. 7.125. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. It's not bad. That's, not bad. That's like excellent. That's that great. Is really that is good. That's really good. That is really freaking yeah. amazing, guys. For $17, I'm getting a 7.125 bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. You know what this calls for? A recount. Recount. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's Mr. Recount now. No, no. I think wow. what this calls for is a blind challenge. Yeah. Yes. I think this is a good blind challenge contender for another 100, 100 proof bourbon. It's, yep. it's yeah. priced... You know, two, three times as much. So you can make that happen. We'll that brain- would be interesting. We'll brainstorm on that, and that might be coming to you in like five years. So, Joel, take us out. Hey, well, if you guys uh, like our channel, um, you know, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos from the Bourbon Guild. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, our website. Subscribe. Whether you're oh, subscribe, subscribe. Sorry. Whether your bourbon is expensive or cheap, or if it comes from Fred Knows personal distiller's cut of bourbon. Tip those bartenders well and take care of them. Bourbon Guild out. I'm not sure about the whole like personal collection. No, I'm I not. That was the joke. That was the gag. I mean, geez. Oh, God. That's like, yeah, like it's That's why it was so good. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. This is meant to be shared with friends and family. Oh, oh we're yeah. f- then. Yeah. <laughs> We did it wrong. So good. Thanks. That info- yeah, that's what I Why is this all dusty? I don't know. Oh, because it's Because nobody buys it? Dang. Wow. Places, everyone. Places. It's true. Why is it all dusty? <laughs> Why is like, this all dusty? It's been sitting in our kitchen for like six months. Hypocrisy, I say.